Welcome to another video. This is an integral that would prompt you to think, I need to do a u substitution, or maybe I need to do a difference of two squares. Whatever decision you make from the beginning is right, because it's a combination of both. However, we're going to get two answers. One is the usual, no, one is the unusual answer, and the other one is the usual answer. So, let's see how this turns out. Now, you might be thinking as a good calculus student that if I need to do a u substitution, I, I don't want to say let u be x to the fourth because the derivative of x to the fourth is going to be x cubed and at least 4x cubed, but this is not x cubed. But you always want to do a u substitution that gets rid of x dx. So this, the smartest choice to make is to say let u be x squared, and then you can plug in x squared here, so this is 1 minus u squared, and then you can get rid of x dx. Now that's what we should do. Before we go on, please make sure you like this video, you share it if you find it helpful, and you leave a comment in the comment section. Yes, I need that. And if you're not subscribed, be subscribed. Now, if this is your first video, um, this is the first video you're watching on my channel, Yes, I invite you to subscribe. And if you have watched more than one video on this channel, you should be subscribed. Let's get into the video. So we're just gonna say let u be equal to x squared. So we're gonna say let u be equal to x squared. So we know that du is 2x dx, and you can see we already have the x dx, which is what we're looking for. Let's isolate x dx. It tells us that if you divide both sides by 2, you have 1 half du will be equal to x dx. So this integral can be written as, see, x dx will be replaced with 1 half du. And under, we're going to have 1 minus x to the fourth is x squared squared, which should now be u squared. Beautiful. And we can pull this one half to the back and say this is one half of the integral of du over one minus u squared. Now, a good calculus student begins to think, how do I integrate this? Do I do a trig substitution? Uh, what if I make u to be my sine theta. Remember, you can only do that if you know it's going to make your life a lot easier because there is no square root sign. Whenever there is no square root sign, you want to be careful when you do a trig substitution because you will need the square root to take the square root of the resulting trig um, expression. So when there is no square root, don't think of trig substitution unless you know how it's going to work out. So because this does not have a square root, don't do trig substitution. Now, can I do difference? Can I do um, partial fraction decomposition? Yes, it's going to work. Partial fraction decomposition works. But there's something that is more accurate, more precise, and faster, and does not require any other work for you to do. Let me show you. Recall that if you have the integral of 1 over 1, plus x squared, if you have this, all you do is you say this is equal to arctan x plus c. Because we do this so frequently, there is the hyperbolic tangent that takes care of the sister expression. If this is dx over 1 minus x squared, your answer is hyperbolic tangent of x. Very similar. No square root. One is a positive, the other is a negative. Remember that the, the variable is on the right, not on the left. Okay, and that's it. So what should we do? Just write your answer. Here, this is equal to plus c. 
And if we choose to replace this u with x squared, our final answer is 1 over 2 hyperbolic tangent inverse of u. Oh, u is x squared. That's the purpose. x squared plus c. This is where you should stop your work. But if you don't know this, then you have to do difference of, I mean, decomposition, partial fraction decomposition. And that, you have to treat this as the difference of two squares so that you can say, or from here, you can say um, one half integral of du over one minus u squared. This is one over two times the integral of, so this is gonna be, um, let's say a, over 1 minus u plus b over 1 plus u and you take the integral with respect to u is du okay so now what would a be a will always be one half and b will always be one half in this case so you might just want to put that in your head this is always one half and that is always one half okay so we can say that this is equal to one half times the integral of 1 half over 1 minus u plus 1 half over 1 plus u, both integrated du. Well, we can pull this 1 half. If we factor out 1 half, it's going to come out here and multiply this 1 half. So we have 1 over 4, and then we have the integral of 1 over 1 minus u plus 1 over 1 plus u du and we know that when you integrate 1 minus u because of this if you do a u substitute or a t substitution now you're going to have a negative coming out of this integral so it's 1 over 4 times uh, we're going to write negative and natural log of 1 minus u plus um, this is going to be a natural log of 1 plus u and basically that we have our plus c well we can combine them and um, we'll put the absolute value bars um, eventually. We'll do that. So this is going to be 1 over 4. And because this is negative, we can put it under and this is on top. So we can say this is the natural log of 1 plus u. But what is u? We said u was x squared. So I'm going to write x squared over 1 minus u is 1 minus x squared. And we put the absolute value bars and you say plus c looks like this is all we need to do. Ah. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.